These are the nine new meta mechanics top players are using that you can steal to immediately dominate your rank games after watching. I've tested that these mechanics work in top 1% ranked lobbies. So I guarantee if you're watching below SSL, these will definitely work for you too. For example, are you sick of losing kickoffs? Try mechanic number one, the wave dash kickoff. You see, I used to think the best thing to do was to try to dominate the kickoff and win it every single time. But now that I've sunk almost 10K hours into playing and coaching and making videos about this game, I've realized what's more important than winning kickoff is getting possession after the kickoff. Instead of jumping and dodging at the last second to try to gain an advantage, you wait till the last possible second to jump and you only tap your first jump to stay lower to the ground so you can wave dash and chase the ball down immediately upon landing. This works for two reasons. Number one, it gives you more speed after the kickoff, but number two, it actually helps you get grounded quicker. I don't know if you know this, but flipping in Rocket League actually suspends you midair. If two cars jump at the same time, but one flips after the jump, the one who flips is gonna take a quarter of a second longer to land than the person who just jumped. Save your jump until you enter the final circle and then single jump into the 50 instead of dodging. Quick one, if you're watching from North America, and are looking for coaching, our coaching sponsor just shared big news. If you didn't see in the free Discord, the Grand Champ Bootcamp, which is the largest live coaching program in Rocket League, just hired three new North American coaches to restock coaching since they last sold out. So if you're US East or US West, ranked anywhere from Platinum through Champ, and you'd like to meet a pro player who takes your improvement as seriously as you do, DM the Grand Champ Bootcamp Discord account, first link below, with keyword NA to see if you might qualify for coaching. And back to the video. Mechanic number two, two touch air dribbles. This is actually a trick I learned from Waiten Pilkin. Basically, instead of doing a normal air dribble, I want you to pretend you're out of boost after the first touch. Then last second, you use 20 boost to catch up to the ball. And believe it or not, this scores 90% of the time. I was actually talking with Wayton Pilkin, and here's why I said two touch air dribbles are so good in rank. The two touch air dribble is, in my opinion, the most underrated mechanic for the general player base. Normally, when a player decides that they want to learn how to air dribble, what they're imagining is something like this. I call this the glue air dribble, where the ball is glued to your car and you're basically pushing it forward with a lot of very small touches. It looks really clean and it's really satisfying. But the problem is, not only is this more difficult to learn, but it's also surprisingly not as effective in ranked. A better version of this air dribble is what I call the two touch. With this one, you set it up nearly the same way, but you're instead getting two individual touches for the carry. If you set it up properly, after you get this first touch, you can easily add a small pause in the middle where you stop boosting for a moment. This often makes your opponent think you're completely out of boost, so it therefore baits them into challenging and leaves their net wide open. It's one of the most effective mind games in Rocket League, and you can do it from a ground setup or a wall setup, all the same. I made an entire video breaking down the two-touch air dribble and how it evolves as you climb the ranks, so if you want to check that out, that link is in the description. Sick Luke from the future here. Thank you so much, waiting for coming on. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my content and you want to <laughs> support me in my mission to buy Dayquil or something like that. All right, back to the content. And on to tip number three, the fast aerial pinch. Pinching is not a new mechanic in Rocket League. But while you may know about the Cooksier pinch, what I'm talking about, the fast aerial pinch, is a little different. You see, with a normal Cooksier pinch, you jump, fly into the ball, and use your dodge to pinch it. The main problem is it's slow. It takes time to set up, and if somebody challenges you early, they're probably gonna beat you to it. The faster version I've seen pros and even other grand champs use in my games is fast aerialing into the pinch instead. Situation is, let's say you see somebody on the wall and they obviously have you beat to the ball. Instead of trying to drive up the wall or go shadow defend and get stuck trying to save an air dribble, you can fast aerial 
early from the ground to surprise your opponent on the wall with an early challenge. The goal of this is not necessarily to get a controlled first touch, but to instead surprise your opponent and get an unexpected beat. The reason this works so well is because most people on the wall don't expect you to challenge, and if they're on the wall, their camera usually can't see you coming on the ground. Give these fast aerial pinches a try when the angles are right, and you'll catch a lot of diamonds and champs with the pants down. Mechanic number four, the wall dash. I know what you're thinking, Luke, wall dashes are just for the pros. And I thought the same thing until I started seeing champs wall dash. So while they look complicated, surprisingly, it only took me, a 21-year-old, pretty uncoordinated Rocket League gamer, about two weeks to be able to wall dash with 80 or 90% consistency. I'll link the wall dash tutorial I learned on screen here. And even if it takes you two or three weeks, listen to me, it's worth it. Anything that makes you play faster in Rocket League, even if it's not meta now, will eventually become the meta. Look at speed flips. Four years ago, it was a new mechanic Musty discovered, and now diamonds are speed flipping. Every time a new mechanic comes out, I see this story repeated again and again. So don't get left behind. Learn wall dashes now so you don't miss out later. Mechanic number five, the zap dash. Zap dashes are one of the newest mechanics to break the pro meta. And since they're so new, and little old GC, peak GC3, Luke here, doesn't quite have it yet, I asked one of my pro friends, Flitz, who made a tutorial on this, to explain it instead. The zap dash is one of the newest mechanics on this list, popularized and named after once player Azapatos, who was seen using this in 1v1 show matches. He wasn't the first to do it, but definitely one of the best, hence the name zap dash. Well, how exactly do you complete a zap dash? The first thing you want to do is initiate a speed flip with your nose pointed a little bit more towards the ground than normal. As your front two wheels are about to hit the ground, you want to jump at the exact time in order to pop your two front wheels up, then you push forward on your left stick and then press jump again. What this does is this sets your car up in a way in that you're wave dashing forward, gaining a very large amount of momentum very quickly. You can also do the dash part without speed flipping. For example, if you're jumping off the wall or you just did an aerial and you're landing on the ground, you can land perfectly by timing that jump and getting a zap dash off that. The reason this mechanic took off and gained so much popularity is it's a very quick and easy way to gain a lot of momentum without using much boost. And in some instances, the only way to actually reach and stay into the play is by playing a zap dash. In my opinion, this is one of, if not the best mechanics to know and use if you want to be fast and have good recoveries. Bear with me. Thank you, Flitz. I'll have his channel first link down below. All right, and back to my favorite three mechanics in this video. Mechanic number six is dash combos. I was actually watching some AJ gameplay, just taking notes while I was eating dinner. Young Cap, basically here, is going to get a goal if AJ doesn't do something. So watch what he does. He speed flips, and notice how as he's landing, just like Flitz taught us, he's angling his car forward. This allows him to pop his wheels up with a zap dash, and that tiny speed boost allows him to beat Young Cap. He's comboing a speed flip with a zap dash to get basically superhuman speed here and save a goal that if you don't do that, you're literally getting scored on every single time. If you want to keep up with the new meta, you got to learn how to combo this stuff. Mechanic number seven, ceiling challenges. The biggest difference between good Rocket League players and great Rocket League players, in my opinion, is defense. These days, anybody in plat and diamond can flip reset, but not every plat or diamond can save a flip reset. That's why I want you to learn defensive mechanics like ceiling challenges. You see, once you get to the high ranks, everybody can do the ceiling shots, the air dribbles, and the double taps, but most of them still aren't used to defenders ceiling challenging. In this clip here, you'll see Zanil ceiling challenge chronic, not one, not two, not three, but four four times in the first two minutes of a rank twos game. If you thought aerial mechanics were the meta, let me tell you, aerial defense is here to stay. Learn how to pre-jump, learn how to use the backboard and walls, and learn how to ceiling challenge, or you're gonna be hard stuck in 2024. Mechanic number eight, empty jumps. Empty jumps are jumps used without a directional input to help you recover faster. If you're on the wall and wanna get to the ground, wave dashing will give you a speed boost on the ground, but sometimes even better, air rolling your car upside down and then using an empty jump to get grounded quicker. You can recover faster than most people below Grand Champ will expect. Number nine, last one is speed flip air dribbles. If you don't know what I'm talking about, speed flip air dribbles are when you use a speed flip 
mid-air to stay close to a ball that you otherwise couldn't. Basically, what I want you to do is go into free play, roll the ball up your backboard, speed flip into the ball to get your first touch. Then you're going to boost after the ball to get a last second, second touch to beat the opposing last man. Speed flip air dribbles are pretty much meta at Grand Champ and will probably be meta for you by the end of 2024. Like, like my like my video, subscribe, please. I need help. Oh, and before you go try to use this stuff in ranked, you probably want to hear what most YouTubers won't tell you about ranking up in Rocket League. I explained it in my last video, so click here to go check that out. Thanks for watching.